Well, that's why we're here today, and most people on the street, once they understand, people don't want to lose their Medicare. Medicare is a very popular program that helps almost 50 million uh, seniors now. Um, they would fight for it tooth and nail if they understood that politicians are trying to dismantle them. Uh, Medicare. It's, it's pretty amazing that uh, a single-payer system, I think a lot of people are under the belief that it's more expensive. Um, and actually, that's totally incorrect. Uh, you could cover everyone genuinely in a universal health care system where they don't pay when they go to the hospital for considerably cheaper. Um, it actually it actually saves, uh, there's a study by the Urban Institute that said it would save New York State $20 billion a year um, to institute a single-payer system in the state. Um, so it, it's it's actually a great business move and makes health care a human right in our, in our state. So. One of the reasons our health care costs so much right now, twice as much as other industrialized countries, is because it goes, it's administered through private uh, health insurance. Private insurance industry takes off anywhere between 15 to 30 percent for profits and administrative waste. So there's the savings. All the facts and figures are in. There's no doubt that a single payer system would keep us healthier in mind and body as well as financially. Even some prominent Republicans and retired insurance executives are joining the call for single payer. Only insurance companies and their allies in government are holding out in a last ditch effort to keep flogging the dead horse of private for-profit insurance in hopes of fleecing the general public of their remaining but dwindling financial assets. It's all part and policy, parcel, of a policy to roll back democratic and economic gains made by the people in order to restore to power a plutocracy or a kleptocracy that strips away voting rights, decent jobs, education, health care, social security, and other elements of the common good to the benefit of a capitalist dictatorship. We're not talking about government taking over health care, we're talking about publicly financing, which all, which all that means is that individuals and businesses pay, like they do now for Medicare, through their taxes, um, less than we pay now, because there would be no co-pays, no premiums to pay, um, and the, the government is just, it's a finance system, it is not, um, it's, it's privately delivered, the health care. You can still choose your doctor, you can choose your hospital. Let us join together here an unholy alliance between Maggie Brooks and Paul Ryan. <laughs> the malediction goes like this. Most businessmen love Maggie Brooks. It's because the way she looks. The other way when they are crooks. Or Comita cooks the books. It's the people that she rooks, whether it's by crooks or hooks, this politician Maggie Brooks and the phony books she cooks. Our county's worst in the nation when it comes to segregation, but we're the best at innovation to let the rich avoid taxation. We need some big investigation to check her deals and her creations with tax breaks for corporations traded for campaign donations. The single biggest cause of bankruptcy in the United States is health insurance that do not cover you when you get sick. While the companies hold hundreds of billions in reserve, they refuse to pay for care. Even those with, insur with insurance are at risk. Clearly, the insur insurance companies are the problem, not the solution.